Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rattur. I have done MD in Spicy Medicine and today we will continue with mechanical aspects here. In today's class, in this video, we will discuss about strangulation. By strangulation, by definition, it is a form of violent asphyxial death. So this is again, it is a form of violent asphyxial death caused by constricting neck by some means. So in this, the neck is compressed by any means, but the force of constricting being other than the weight of the victim body. So if the victim body has Becomes the, becomes the constricting force, then it becomes hanging. But if it is not the victim's body, then if any other means the neck is strangulated, uh, neck is compressed, then it becomes a form of uh, asphyxia that call, leading to strangulation. Based on what the material or uh, by which means the strangulation is done, there are different, uh, uh, it can be divided. First is ligature strangulation, where ligature materials is used to compress the neck. So ligature material may be anything like wire or uh, like a cloth or any piece of anything material like a uh, thread or anything can be used or a rope can also be used to strangulate the person. Then there is manual strangulation which is also called as throttling where human fingers, palms or hands are used as a compressor neck. Then next is the mugging where strangulation is caused by the holding the victim's neck between the uh, between the bend of the elbow. So here the victim is held by the um, uh, elbow uh, or knee of the SLA. So here the neck is compressed around the, the sides or in the front and the person is compressed. So this is called as mugging. Next is bands dola. Here there is uh, a bamboo stick is placed in the front of the neck and one more is placed in the back of the neck. And both the neck, uh, both the ends of the ba ba bamboo stick are tied, and uh, both the ends are squeezed. So when this is squeezed, neck becomes compressed. This is called as bands dola. So here mainly the bamboo stick is used between the front and back of the neck, and both the ends are twisted. Both the ends are compressed. Next is the form is the garroting. This is a form of strangulation caused by compression of neck by ligature which is quickly tightened by twisting it with the lever known as the Spanish wind lash which results in sudden loss of consciousness collapse. So here mainly the person is the neck is compressed by ligature but at the end of the rope or wire or ligature material there is a the one lever is used a form of rod is used which is twisted. So when it is twisted the ligature material compresses and leads to uh, compresses and it gets uh, slowly it compresses leading the person to lose consciousness first and later collapses so this is a form of slow compression and causing death so garroting was mainly used as was a mode of execution is was practiced in spain portugal and turkey where there was a chair a special chair made where they used to place a victim on a uh, uh, on a iron rod, iron belt, and this iron belt was connected to a screw. So when this screw was twisted, this iron plate used to compress and leading to death. That is called as garrotting. That is a form of gar called garrot machine, also known as Spanish windlass. In this video, we will discuss about luggage strangulation. So luggage strangulation, as I mentioned, it is a luggage where a strangulation where luggage material is used to strangulate the victim. Here, the pressure on the neck is applied by constriction band that is tightened by force other than the victim's body weight. So, here the luggage is used on the, on the neck and compressed manually by other person other than the weight of the body. Cause of death in strangulation first is foremost is the cause friction mainly because of compression of the neck. There is a compression in the trachea, larynx, caused by the compression by larynx and tongue leading to loss of air supply to the lung, uh, stoppage of air supply to the lungs leading to asphyxia. Then one more is the cerebral anoxia which is mainly caused because of compression of the venous, venous congestion which, which leads to cerebral anoxia where the blood supply to the brain is stopped. Next uh, cause of death is the vagal inhibition where it may be caused because of uh, stimulation of the vagus nerve. So since I mentioned in previous video also whenever there is a since vagus nerve innervates most of the GI tract as well as the neck uh, neck structures, so whenever there is a stimulation, if it 
uh, the vehicles now is stimulated it may also uh, it may reflexly cause decrease decrease in heart rate or also stoppage of heart then there may be also sometimes rarely fracture dislocation of the vertebra vertebrae of the person is after strangulated a person is hanged or dragged there may be cause of the vertebra and also sometimes any of the combination of one or two cause may also lead to may be also present in the same person now coming to postmortem examination in case of strangulation now first we we'll discuss about external findings external findings in that the facial features the face is congested so mainly in any form of asphyxial deaths as we mentioned in the first video there are since three signs are usually present that is cyanosis that is bluish discoloration of the skin there is congestion that is because of the blood gets acclimated there is congestion of the organs then there is particular hemorrhages that is pinpoint hemorrhages are usually seen so these three signs are usually seen in any form of asphyxial death this may be seen in all the parts so in the face again this is congested swollen and cyanosed there may be tattoo spots which are nothing but the particular hemorrhages are present in the forehead temples eyelids and conjunctiva eyes becomes prominent wide open conjunctival congested pupils will be dilated there may be some conjunctival hemorrhages may be present because of compression the blood pressure increase in compression may cause hemorrhage lips fingernails and ear lobes are cyanosed tongue is swollen dark becomes scarred in color may also be protruded out of mouth and bitten by teeth this is more common in strangulation as compared to hanging where dripping of saliva is more common then there is blood stain for the fluid may be present from them coming from the mouth and nostrils now external features in the neck mainly the, the neck there is a ligature mark is present the ligature mark is well defined groove which is slightly depressed and of same width as of the ligature material so if ligature material is found nearby scene of crime it will be similar to that of that and which may lead to uh, which may also lead a uh, may cause a imprint abrasion may be formed which is typically seen because of uh, the compression applied by the person the furrow is usually horizontally placed across the middle or lower part of the neck at the below the level of carotid cartilage since the body of the victim is not uh, st uh, hanged or it is not a body it is not suspended usually the ligature material ligature mark is horizontally placed so if we see the neck the ligature mark will be horizontally placed and it is usually uh, present at the below or level of thyroid cartilage but if you see in the similarly if it is seen in strangulation but if you see in the same ligature mark in the hanging that ligature material mark will be slightly above the thyroid cartilage and it is always in the form of oblique obliquely placed but in strangulation in strangulation it is usually transversely placed so the the neck is the strangulation since the person is strangulated usually it is seen in homicide where the other person tries to strangulate the person because of that the ligature mark will be transversely placed horizontally placed but in hanging since the body is suspended it is always seen as a oblique obliquely seen obliquely present the mark is transverse circular continuous the base of fur is usually right accompanied with congestion and ecchymosis are present in other parts of the body post mortem staining is deep and prominent and present in dependent parts of the body if the person is in lying down it may be seen in the back of the body and if the person is sitting or in a position very very dependent part body is there post mortem staining is present there may be involvement uh, involved involuntary discharge of urine and fecal material more common than in the hanging in case of struggle there may be evidence of abrasions fingernail scratch abrasions may be present near the ligature uh, ligature mark so the person when the person is strangulated by other person to prevent strangulation the victim may try to grab his neck and scratch near the ligature material and there may be finger fingernail scratch material marks may be present and there may be contusions over the face arms and other parts of the body and also there may be injuries mark may be present so if this because of struggle there is chance that injuries different forms of injuries may be present on the body catches may be found on the skin of the neck near the ligature 
and since the person's he, he may be scratched you have to examine the nail bed there is a chances that uh, tissue under the nail bed should be crossed with the victim's blood so that there may be chances that uh, there is some tissue may be formed of the assailant also may be found under the nail bed going to internal findings after the neck dissection in neck dissection uh, near the under the ligature material mark there is bruising of subcutaneous tissue and muscles of the neck. So sometimes the muscles of the neck may also get lacerated or torn apart, especially in the near the luggage line knot. Fracture of thyroid cartilage is present. One or both of superior horns may be also be seen. Subcapsular and interstitial thyroid hemorrhages are commonly seen. Rings of trachea may sustain fracture and when considerable force is applied. Larynx, trachea, and bronchia are congested and contain frothy, often blood stains, stains of mucus is seen. Other organs, usually congestion is present in most of the organs. Lungs are congested, it matters with numerous subcular particular hemorrhages, which are typical signs of asphyxia is seen. Brain is congested with particles in the white matter, and all the organs are congested. This liver, kidneys, and spleen may also be congested, please. There may be presence of some particular image which may also be present. Now, coming to medical legal importance or medical questions which are seen in strangulation, first and foremost is we have to decide whether the asphyxial death is whether it is a strangulation or hanging. So, this is present, this has to be differentiated whether because in both the hanging and strangulation there is a ligature mark is present. So, usually the strangle, as I mentioned, the in hanging since the body is suspended the ligature mark will be oblique will be present as an oblique place but in strangulation since the body is usually not suspended it is always in a transversely present general asphyxia signs are present usually in strangulation because it is asphyxial death the findings of the head and neck are strongly presumptive of strangulation which is confirmed by ligature mark on the neck so usually the ligature mark is a confirmatory uh, sign that is whether the person is strangulated or, or hanged even though there is chances that the person may be strangulated and hanged, there is a few things like signs of struggle will be seen commonly in, in uh, strangulation since the person will try to struggle that will be present in the strangulation but it is not seen in the hanging. Next, and next importance is the whether the strangulation is suicidal, homicidal or accidental. So, strangulation by suicide is very rare. The victim may, may try to employ various methods of tightening the, the, the ligature material. He may try to single or double knot method or single or double row he may use to tighten the neck. Ligature, should be found, ligature will be found in C2. Body will not show any signs of violence and struggle will not be typically seen. And since the body, uh, since the person himself tried to strangulate, there is chances that he may not completely strangulate and person may be alive also. Next, homicidal strangulation. So, unless and proved otherwise, always strangulation is considered to be homicidal. So, strangulation is always considered to be homicidal unless otherwise it is proved. For this purpose, there are all baggage materials back should be clearly examined for whether the differentiate between hanging and strangulation. Then, there may be presence of abrasion of fingernail marks will be present. Those of the victim may be torn, disarranged, indicating that the struggle was taken place. When ligature one removed, will be, it will be always loose since the, it will be uh, present, uh, it is strangulated. So, after strangulation, the ligature will be loose, they not, not may not be present. Sometimes, human strangulation is also fiend. So, sometimes some, uh, some victims may try to falsely accuse other person by himself, may try to suicidal, try suicidal strangulation and claim that it, he was strangulated by other person or he may he may compress till that ligature mark is found formed on the neck to make a fast charge on the against any against his enemy this can also be done in women in case of sexual abuse to uh, to make a fast charge on the other person to fin finning finning a homicidal strangulation accidental strangulation Accidental strangulation may occur in uterus when the movement of the fetus may cause umbilical cord to encircle the neck and it may strangulate the fetus. Children may get entangled in ropes during play and 
the ropes may be entangled in their play and strangulate in the in their cords so children are usually get strangulated in accidental strangulation may get strangulated when they play with the any ropes or any material like bed sheet and otherwise and that may be get uh, tighten up and strangle strangulated persons under the influence of alcohol epileptics may or imbeciles may also be get strangulated either by tight scarf or collar and neck one more thing we should come consider is sudo or fast aggression mark legacy mark sometimes normal mark on the neck may be confused for the legacy mark so from commonest is the neck uh, neck band neck foldings in the children's or infants and children's since in infants and children's have short neck the skin gets folded off and that may be confused for legacy mark so infants of short neck and marks are produced from folds on the neck or bending of the head which may be interpreted as legacy mark in cases of decomposed body with the tight collars may also form a mark on the neck which may also be considered as a legacy mark which has to be clearly examined for presence of uh, ecchymosis presence of the uh, the imprint contusion imprint contusions imprint abrasions may be uh, should be present, uh, clearly appreciated the mark of the legacy has to be clearly foros should be clearly seen then only it should be considered as a legacy mark these are my references Thank you.